In this video we're going to look at editing the images you see on screen now using Lightroom and Luminar AI and not using templates to turn it into this image you see now. Let's dive right in. Okay, for this video I actually went out last night, uh, this is now Sunday and I went out last night and shot this image specifically for Luminar AI just to see what it could actually do with the images and as you see along the bottom here it's stacked images I used uh, for example for this image here uh, there's a focus in the background the next one is a focus in the midground and the next one because it was down low with the tripod a focus in the foreground as well but as you can see look at the sky there's nothing much going on with the sky here. The workflow for this one, I took the three of them in to Photoshop as layers and then I auto aligned them and auto blended them and then brought it back into Lightroom and sent it from Lightroom into Luminar AI and edited it like this. But as you can see, the sky's a lot better there. Yes, I have replaced the sky. It also helped me tone the entire image together by doing that. Now, I know that doesn't go down well with a lot of people adding a sky in. Uh, the sun sets over behind the castle at this time of year anyway. So for me, this was okay to do this. I know I've replaced the sky. I'm not gonna claim that I haven't replaced the sky. But for me, it actually helps this image compared to that's the image there without any edits at all and then the final image is like that so for me that's a better image that's that's one that can go up on Instagram now these are not particularly my favourite images but as I say I wanted to edit them just to see what Luminar AI would do and I also went down the beach again and you'll see by the final image and shot that one as well but I haven't replaced the sky in this the clouds were going on behind as where we were shooting in behind where the sun was setting so this is the video that I'm going to do just now I'm going to show you just different ways of editing this now this is the first time I've edited this one I've prepped it in Lightroom uh, not too many edits as you can see none whatsoever in fact the only thing I did do because I'm shooting with the X-T3 is I had a mark in my sensor that was still to go and clean and that was up there and I've removed that mark that's the only thing I've done in Lightroom and I do it in Lightroom because it speeds up my workflow I could do it in Luminar but I use Lightroom to do it and then take my final edits in what we're going to be looking at in this video is what Luminar AI in this case can do with these images it's not a brilliant image in any way at all, it's, it's, it's actually a mediocre image but I wanted to test what Luminar AI could do to it so we'll have that image there then we'll bring it back in and then we'll see the difference, we'll compare the two side by side so what I'll do now is I'll dive right into this and edit it in Luminar AI so I'm going to right click edit in Luminar AI Okay, now that we're in Luminar AI, what I'm going to do, I could use any of the templates for this. I have a favourite in my landscapes already, and that is, I'll just get rid of the Geoforce in here, and that's Forest Stream. I really like the effect that gives, and I like the effect straight off the bat, but for this image, what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit this without a template. I like my editing. It's, for me, it's 50% of the entire process is the editing and it's it allows you to spend more time looking at the scene you've just captured. So that's my preference. I have used and will use quicker edits and templates in here. But if you're new to Luminar, the templates in here, if you've used other programs, the templates is similar to a preset. That's the best way I'm going to say that. Uh, and basically that could be your starting point or your actual finishing point. You just one click and that's you and it's done. The AI side of Luminar comes down to it reads your images, it scans your images. As you saw there already, if I go back to templates, it's saying scenery. So it knows that this is scenery. That's where the AI falls into it. It doesn't say, this is AI, that's it, you're done. Your image is finished. Your image is complete. We tell you to use this one. You must use this one. You're the editor. You use what you want to use within this. There is some really nice uh, portrait effects that can be used for this. Look at the monochrome, elegant matte. 
for me, that's a lovely effect in this image. So I could use that one. So you don't actually have to use what it recommends. The AI technology within Luminar is there because it reads the content of the image. It's been run through thousands upon thousands uh, of different parameters to find and read images. I actually participated in the composition side of it and ran a, a, quite a few hundred images through that. So I'm aware what the software can do. Uh, so what I'm going to do is jump right into this and go through and edit from the editing side of things. Okay, that's the end of part one of the editing tutorial. If you want to check out part two, it should be there or there. And that will be the straight edit of the entire image. Hope you enjoy it and hopefully see you in part two.